Mario Schubert, Russell Minter Brown, and Rudy Minar are the founders of the first ever community platform for the hospitality and restaurant industry. In our social newscast today with me, Sam Marshall, we unpack what this means for an industry that's been hard hit with COVID and how a free classified, free job finder, free restaurant directory, business brokerage, consultancy, training solution, marketing services platform can help the industry. You're listening to our social newscast with me, Sam Marshall. Marius and Rudy, thank you very much for your time. Marius, let's start with you. Um, you're the brains behind uh, this community platform. Talk to me very quickly about what was happening at the time that this was something that you thought, ah, this could save an industry. Well, you know, I've been in the restaurant industry for 33 years. And uh, I was always thinking, what can I do after standing in a restaurant for 16 hours a day uh, when I get fed up with it? And uh, I was consulting when COVID hit, and uh, my thoughts had to be expedited. I had to make a plan to put some pizza on the table. And uh, that's when I started thinking about creating a platform for, for the community that's in trouble at that point in time and how are we going to survive you know getting to the end of this thing um so in creating the platform i've always been you know interested in training staff consulting with other restaurants and owners and uh, i had to find a way to get my name out there so the quickest way to do that was by getting a uh, classified platform going and a job finder and a directory where I thought apart from getting my name out there I can give something back to the community giving them free advertising space and that's how this whole thing took shape you know so we're a very green business uh, just getting off the starting line and uh, on the one side we want to create a living for ourselves and we want to give other people in the industry an opportunity to make a living for themselves a little bit easier. So everybody can communicate with each other here, whether you're an equipment supplier, whether you're a waiter looking for a position, whether you're a restaurant owner looking for a bartender, everybody can come to the restaurant hub and come and communicate with each other over here. Really? Marius quite eloquently explains what was the thinking at the time when um, this idea sprung on him. Um, you would have to live under a rock at the moment to not know that the restaurant industry is hemorrhaging. It's bleeding out of every pore in its body. But you guys are a lot more closer to the situation. What is the current situation within the, the restaurant and hospitality industry? Is it still as bad as it was three months ago, six months ago, seven months ago? Or are you starting to see that little uptake in activity um, now that some of the lockdown restrictions have eased a little? Are you seeing those, those feet and bumps coming back onto those seats? Sam, um, you, you, you know, it very much depends on it's areas, it's cities, it's different cities. The coastal, the, the coastal regions are still struggling hugely. Anywhere that is related to tourism, it's really, really hard. Um, places like, strangely enough, Bloemfontein, uh, in some cases are doing fairly all right. Joburg, some places are doing okay. But overall, you know, people are still trading at, anywhere between 60 and let's say 80% of pre-COVID. What makes this whole thing so, so damn difficult is that everybody who is still trading at the moment are trading at reduced rates or uh, uh, levels, but they're sitting with a, an accumulation of debt that they had to, had to try and, and still now try and pay that off as well as keeping the restaurants alive. So I predict that it's still going to be very tough for at least another year before we really 18 gonna, months a year to 18 I, months without a doubt and uh and in there lies this opportunity to help people you know between the three of us we've got we, we try to add it up this morning uh, something like 110 years worth of experience in the restaurant business now what better to 
use that experience as a restaurateur and see if we can help people. Whether it is even, and, and this is where the, the big interest is also lying, obviously, is through this connection with everybody. Maybe we can sell your business. Maybe we can advise you to not sell your business now if that is what you want to do, but let's see if we can up the figures and make your whole experience a little bit tighter and sell it later. So there's brokerage, there's mergers, there's acquisitions, there's people that now want to move from Joburg to Cape Town, there's movement in, in the market. And also you have to be able to rejig your business. And that's where we come in as an experienced bunch of guys. I would rather sell my restaurant and, and know that I've got restaurant people in my back pocket advising me properly. So that's where the whole excitement for me is coming. I've been restauranteering since 1979. I think you were 10. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so, and that's fun, you know. I mean, I unfortunately, my old, my last restaurant, I had to close during COVID. I can't carry on. I was 13, 14 months old when COVID hit and it just decimated us. So again, I've got experience to be able to pass on and joining up with these guys has just been an absolute blessing because it gives me something to do. I just want to then, draw, I just want to draw the attention that the other person you're talking about is Russell Minter Brown. And there's that's three of you that's the kind of founding members of uh, Restaurant Hub. And obviously, if you want to find out more, you can go to restauranthub.co.za. Marius, just quickly, um, a little bit earlier and to um, Rudy's point that there is so many elements to, to this hub. And it's not just uh, mergers and acquisitions, but it's, it also acts as a classifieds. It's a job finder. It's a restaurant um, a di directory. And it's, so Absolutely. it brings in the, just the fundamental aspects for the ordinary public of where do you go to support a local restaurant? So you will, as I understand this, Marius, will be able to then direct me, Sam, to a localized restaurant that's owned by a South African or a South African um, registered business might not just be South African, but could be a South African registered business. And we are then driving those feet into those businesses. Sam, absolutely. We, uh, we want to get that right for the directory. However, what I'd like to get across to you, Sam, is this restaurant hub is an actual community for the people in the industry. So okay. we're not okay. like the traditional directory focusing on finding people to send to restaurants. Mm. We are the, uh, we, we'd like to be like the A team for restaurants that are struggling and that have problems. All of us bring different skill sets, skill, skill sets to the table. For instance, uh, I was in franchising for 30 years. Uh, Rudy has been, uh, uh, independent uh, restaurant uh, here for many years um, I think for 40 years mm. and and that brings the whole picture together for people that are e either having their independent little businesses that have a tough time and I think they have a much tougher time than the people that are protected by big franchise companies and big brand names and it's for those people that we want to go out and say, listen, yeah, we are here to support you and we are here as a platform that if you have struggles and if you have problems, we will assist where we can. It might, it might be as, you know, it might be even legal. It might be HR. Um, you know, just, I just want to come back to Russell, for instance. Russell sold 78 restaurants in his life uh, before he's now, um, being a restaurateur again, but he, he is now going to revive that side of the business as well. So there's massive expertise and follow up here for anybody that has got any kind of an issue. We are willing and wanting to help wherever. It's actually a helpline almost in a way, you know? Um, and it's the first platform ever. I don't think anything like this exists. Am I right, Mario? Yeah, it's the first one ever to be good. Created. It's the first community for the hospitality industry as a large 
uh, ever created. There is no platform like this anywhere in the world. Just final question. So the official platform is, is it's a website or an app or how does it work? So you, you, you register, log on, send a query or a question. What is the, the physical process of engaging with, with you guys? Okay, Sam, we try to make it as user-friendly and easy as possible. It's straightforward, restauranthub.co. People log into the site, they go and they create their own profile. Once your profile is created, uh, people can go and click on services. And if they go down to consulting and training solutions, they have access to 35 training modules free of charge immediately. Um, those are 35 modules that they can go and implement in their businesses to either cut costs, to save, to manage their business more efficiently, to look at their staff more efficiently. Um, it, will, it will really add value to their business. And then they have immediate access to the directory to either list their business there, uh, or alternatively, if they have services that they would like to sell, they add themselves to the classified. Whatever it is, whether you're an equipment supplier, a toll roll, paper supplier, chemical supplier, uh, extraction cleaning services. They can list themselves in the classifieds for free. And then if you people uh, need employment or if there's employers that need employees, they can go and list themselves in the jobs classified. And that's 100% free of charge. And Sam, the message I'd like to get across to the community out there is this is really free. There's no catch. It's not uh, leave a credit card number and in a month's time we'll charge you if you use it. Or it is absolutely free of charge.